be looking at satellite images, looking at multiple videos from the rally, um, and we also matched up the president, uh, the former president's speech, uh, with what we can hear there as well. Uh, in the aftermath of the shooting, video had circulated of this exact building of a man. Uh, or the body of a man lying on that roof in that same position. And based off official reports, this d seemed to have been um, the shooter, uh, Thomas Crooks. That being the case, uh, Kevin, it, you know, truth and accuracy has always been a central tenet of, of journalism. What are the extra steps media organisations are taking to, you know, to reinforce this mission? So, Misinformation has always kind of flowed when it comes to, uh, particularly with social media. And what media organizations are doing now is uh, investing in purpose. And what I mean by that is, well, when you go through your social media feed, when you go and read through news, uh, particularly news that doesn't come from media organizations or from trusted sources, how often do you stop and look and really examine what you're um, reading and watching and hearing? Uh, what media organizations are doing now is we're effectively reacting to uh, more adversarial forces uh, online that are trying to spin or create their own narrative. Now, a lot of people share misinformation online uh, quite innocently. That maybe they want to help, maybe they want to um, spread the word and create purpose, um, you know, let people know what's happening. Um, but and they never really examine where that information comes from. So organizations now are building specialized teams. Um, so you know, Reuters has its own fact-checking unit. ABC has launched its ABC News Verify. Um, BBC Verify um, has made a lot of inroads uh, in the Middle East. And effectively, what we have are specialists, um, some of them investigative journalism, some of them, um, such as myself, come from very technical backgrounds um, to effectively forensically analyze what we see, um, mm -hmm. put it through a process, and then